Thank you, Russell. Uh, what I'd like to ask today is help in supporting our frontline uh, workers in the hospital settings. Uh, as I posted earlier, some of you may have seen the white ribbon initiative that's going on nationally. Here locally, we'd like to also help support that initiative. And what that means is that to recognize our frontline uh, healthcare workers, doctors, nurses, RTs, lab, phlebotomists, everyone that's involved in the frontline COVID response, we'd like to help support them by putting a white ribbon out in front of your house. Uh, this can be tied around a tree, lamppost, mailbox, uh, whatever you have. But this is just a small salute to our heroes uh, to let them know that we as a community are supporting them. So uh, I'm asking today that everyone, if you have any materials, uh, any white ribbon-like material that you can wrap around, uh, again, trees, posts, anything like that, or even in windows, uh, that you can do that. Our middle memorial page with the white ribbon logo as well. Uh, but really help us support that and really help in getting the message out that we support our frontline staff. Thank you. Thanks, Kent. That's a great initiative, and I know our, our people uh, appreciate every bit of support that they get from the people in our community. This The community has responded tremendously well to our request for donations, uh, to, to these briefings, to any opportunity that people have had to give positive feedback to the people here, and every little bit does help. Um, hopefully by the end of the day today, you'll see white ribbons all over our campus. Uh, and we're looking forward to, to seeing the community step up and, and continue its support for our team. Let's see. Uh, a shout out today uh, to uh, another really vital group uh, in our organization, uh, Val Sparks and the team in infection control and employee health have done tremendous work from the very beginning of this process told you how many employees we've been tracking almost a hundred that they keep up with every day or have been keeping up with every day uh, also uh, staying on top of the the recommendations from the CDC the ever-changing uh, governmental regulations and directives, uh, changes in uh, common practice uh, that are seeing success in other areas uh, our, our infection control team especially Val are available 24 hours a day and they're getting called for for help with navigating uh, this difficult and unprecedented situation. So thanks uh, more than we can say to Val and the, the very good team we have at Infection Control and Employee Health. Um, finally, I'd like to close uh, with a reminder. Uh, this is a holiday weekend coming up. There will be lots of temptations to, to uh, forget about our social distancing expectations and, and go out and live normally and that's just not a good decision at this point we continue to to need to maintain social distancing to wear those masks when you're in public uh, <clears throat> to wash your hands uh, to be careful monitoring yourself for any symptoms uh, and if you have any if you have a fever if you have uh, respiratory symptoms to isolate yourself at home uh, call 68 nurse for guidance uh, and if your symptoms worsen to the point that you need to come to the hospital, then by all means do come to the hospital. But if you can isolate and take, take care of yourself at home, please. Uh, I'd like to wish everyone a happy Easter. And uh, one more reminder to keep social distancing.